Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Anna Lynn and today's story is The Nose Biting Monster written by Jay Maletsky and illustrations by Louis Perez. It might sound made up or far-fetched at least, but this is the story of a terrible beast who surprised me one day when quite unannounced. It gazed at my face and then suddenly pounced, chomping down hard with a loud high-pitched squeal and mistaking my nose for a fine gourmet meal. I had no idea, not even a clue, when it suddenly bit me from out of the blue that my sweet little kid would turn suddenly wild and grow into a dangerous, nose-biting child. You see, when it was younger, it was cute as a button, but one day teeth appeared and then all of a sudden, its appetite grew for one thing, I suppose. It wanted to feast on the flesh of my nose. First, it would nibble. It was really quite cute, gnawing my nose like a booger-filled fruit. <laughs> but one day that all changed when it could, when I couldn't entice it to loosen a bite that clamped down like a vice and left my poor nose chewed, gnarled, and raw. So from that day on, I quite clearly saw that I had to protect the end of my snout whenever my nose-biting monster was about. It hides in the corners and prepares with a smirk to bite me the moment I come home from work, or it creeps round behind in a stealth sneak attack, licking its lip for its next late-night snack. Sometimes it can trick me, and this works every time, by looking real sweet and then trying to climb up into my arms to give me a hug and curl into my chest all cuddled and snug. But the truth is, it has a devious plot to chew where I keep my treasures of snot. It pretends that it wants my cheek for a kiss, but I suddenly realize that something's amiss. Too late, it gets me and chomps hard on my beak, leaving me howling in pain for a week. It jumps up and down, ignoring my cries, but does not realize that I've got a surprise. I figured out how I could end this for good, so my monster will act the way all monsters should. The one surefire way to get out of this pickle is to give my fierce nose biter a big monster tickle. So parents, please hear me. Take my warning to heart. You need to be aware and prepared from the start. There are all sorts of ways kids express how they feel. Some give you a hug, others make you a meal. Not everyone uses their voice as a clue. Some monsters bite to say, I love you. The end. Remember to like, comment, and share. And I will share with all of you at the end of the video how you can order this cute, adorable book. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. Be kind, be generous, and be impactful. Bye.